morning, everybody. Painblade back here again from Server 1, representing ISC. Uh, today, guys, we're going to be doing a doubleheader. Um, I originally was just going to be showcasing the adult Sasuke from Team 7, as per my uh, adults, adult Team 7 showcase. But I've got a lot of actually questions regarding speed and how speed works, um, how to get it, how to use it. How to distribute it amongst your, your team and uh, and how it overall just you know gels with all of your shinobis so what i'm going to do today guys first and foremost is i'm going to cover the speed uh video because i think that by providing you this information first it'll give you more success in pvp and you know you might be able to um use this right away and, and improve your team as the day goes on and then what i'll do is i'll release the adult sasuke video uh, afterwards this is more of a general video for everybody while the adult sasuke will only fit into people that i want to use him or have him so let's jump into it guys so a few things i'm going to cover here first i'm going to cover how speed works um how to increase your speed for individual shinobi and then secondly, how, how speed works as a group increase. Um, and that's actually the key one there. And then we're going to cover how, to, how different ways to get the scrolls, what kind of scrolls are found where, and uh, how much the scrolls cost. Okay. And then lastly, I'm going to present you guys with a speed info chart that was uh, created by the Tribes Lab. So, you know, uh, big ups to the Tribes Lab again for providing this information. Uh, it's it's a va extremely valuable resource, guys. So at the end of the video, please watch it. Um, you, you can even skip to the end if you want to just see how the experience points works and how much speed you get per uh group promotion um and that will uh that will actually help you guys understand how to proper properly distribute speed amongst all of your shinobis now the first thing as i mentioned is is how to increase speed now what i'm going to get you guys to do is jump into your shinobi list and the first thing you want to do is you want to actually change this filter down here where it's a sort okay and then change the speed and what that'll do is it'll actually show you guys from the from the top end your highest speed to your lowest speed okay and the reason why i'm getting you guys to do this is because the lower your speed those are the ones you want to focus on and hear me out there's a reason why okay but before i get into that i would just do this filter for me and then see where your speed's at so as you can see my highest speed for it in the individual shinobi is 1176 on my jugo then 1128 on my sugetsu and then 1108 on my karen and as you can see a lot of thousands and a lot of you might be wondering how the heck did you do that now individual speed is great it's extremely important especially on your main nine but it's the group speed that matters. So let's cover individual speed first. Okay, I'm gonna click on Jugo. Now the way individual speed, there's a couple ways to increase speed itself. The first way and the easiest way is your promotional level, which is your tier level here. Every time you increase your tier level, you gain speed of five, I believe, from one to 13. So every single time you'll get an increment of five increase to your individual speed, okay? The other way to increase speed, of course, is awakening. Uh, each star that you get awaken speed to a certain extent and then i believe the last star gives you about plus 15 for that individual shinobi so we have um tearing up which is promotions we have awakening of course uh leveling up i believe also does help um and then lastly the other one is the new introduction to limit breaks now limit breaks have the same speed for the grade of shinobi so all srs for example will get plus 30 speed sorry i moved that out of there quickly We'll get the plus 30 speed right there all you are shinobis get plus 45 and i believe all the r shinobis get plus 25. so this is another great way to increase speed so they've given us another method of doing so okay so that guys is how do you how you uh increase speed individually per shinobi but that will not take you to these insane numbers the key to speed is different the key to speed is based on the group promotion um for speed and what I mean by that, guys, is every every shinobi without leveling speed up starts a plus one speed. And where you find that is if you click on your speed uh, stat right here on the plus, you'll see this here. I'm clicking on it. Mine's plus five. You'll see plus one if you have never leveled up speed. Now, the way speed works is when you level up someone from one to two, everybody in your roster gets plus five speed. So what you want to do is you want to collect all the shinobis even if they're one star guys go into that shinobi coin exchange and get those shinobis it gives you link bonuses plus it lets you do this this trick right so you go into your shinobi you go from level one to two from to every shinobi on your run your roster so if you have 42 shinobi right and you do one to two 
and you and you end up increasing everybody up to level two, what that ends up doing for you guys is that gives everybody in your roster plus 210 speed instantly, right? Because it's five plus five plus five plus five plus five, et cetera, up to 42 Shinobi. That's how many Shinobi are in the game right now. Um, so what you want to do is you want to increase everyone to plus two. And then what you want to do is you want to increase everybody to plus three. Now, plus three takes a little more, but it gives you more. It gives you plus 15 per Shinobi at that level. And then plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, and then seven is the max. And, and that gives you the maximum speed you can get is plus 50 on any Shinobi. And that again, that, that affects your entire roster. So group promotion is key, guys. So just from getting everybody from level one to two, you're giving you're gonna give yourself plus five speed on every Shinobi you do that for. So the way it works for leveling is you have to collect these scrolls, and I'll explain where to get these scrolls later on. And what you do is you distribute these scrolls into your individual shinobi and then when they level up let's say from one to two it takes level 20 right and each scroll gives you a certain amount of experience points so the green scrolls give you 10 per if you click on it here this gives you th 30 and this purple ones give you 80. so from level one to level two you need 678 experience points right when you get when you hit level 20 you're going to notice that speed plus one changes to plus two It'll give you a new notification that everyone has plus five speed. And then your actual level goes back to level one. So to get to level three from two, you start back from level one and you have to get to level 40, right? And then when you hit level 40, that you get your plus three, you go back to level one again. Now you have to hit level 60. So as you increase your speed per Shinobi, the actual gap gets larger. So what the focus should be for you guys as a whale or as an F2P, especially as an F2P, is get everybody to plus two at least, and then put the rest of your scrolls into your main nine. As a whale, you can probably get everybody plus three or plus four, and then focus on your main nine. But ideally, guys, you want to get it to at least plus two. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to actually find a Shinobi here that might be close to getting um, her speed or his speed up. So level one, level four. So let's find somebody down the list that I don't ever use that often. But you know what? I want to take advantage of their speed, right? So let's just go to Hinata for fun. So she's got plus two uh, speed right now, only level six. So let's see how far we can get her. So I need to aim for plus 40. So I've got plus 30, okay? So I'm going to, you know what? For the sake of this, this video, let's just feed her these scrolls. Okay, I'm actually trying to get, I'm going to try to collect enough to actually give her plus 40 so I can show you guys. But so let's go back to Hinata eventually. Okay, so now you can see that her individual speed went up, but the speed plus two stayed the same. And the plus 720, which is my group speed, has not all has not changed at all. Right. So the goal is to change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out. And now I'm going to talk to you guys in terms of how to get these scrolls. Now, the main way, guys, and this is going to be your key bread and butter of getting scrolls is this item summons times 10 daily. Now, a lot of people don't understand how important this is. This gives you so many different things. It gives you potions, real frogs, fragments, uh, gamma potions, vitality potions, but it also gives you speed scrolls. Now, speed scrolls here start from green to purple, and they range from R, R type to SR type, but you cannot get UR type here. UR type is only sold at the original Mario shop, which I have popped. It is random that he, he sells those. So hopefully we'll get one and I can show you how that works as well. Okay, but what you want to do is, after your free one, right, I'm going to pop this here. So you got one R, two R's, three R's. That's an amazing pull right there, in my opinion. It's rare to get that many, uh, but this is what ideally what you want to see. So what you guys want to do is, the Rio that you have, if you are lacking speed, speed is the key component to PvP, start spending your Rio here. It is costly, but it is worth it. So I'm going to do a couple pulls here, guys. I'll just show you, right? There's a couple other ones. There we go. So that's three. Let's pull more. That's that that is a crazy pull. Now I wish those were obviously blues and purples, but greens are, you know, they're sufficient. So as you can see, this is the fastest way to collect yourself some some scrolls. Now, what you want to do, guys, is if you're low on speed, you want to spend as much of your Rio on this and just keep collecting these. And then again, distribute them between your Shinobi. Do not just pack one onto one Shinobi and keep getting up the levels. You want to distribute this amongst everybody because when you do 42 times level two. It's a lot faster to get to level two than it is to get one individual shinobi to level five or six or seven right so here we go i'm going to do a couple more of these and let's uh let's show you the different ways of getting the other scrolls so there you go 
This one, we got none. So this that's what RNG does, right? You get it, sometimes you don't. So this, guys, is your bread and, bread and butter for collecting um, spree squirrels. Spend time on this every day, get your scrolls up, and distribute them among your shinobi. The second way, guys, is, of course, the marketplace. Now, the marketplace, 1010, specifically, oh, let's sell some of those. And that was actually all from um, the timestamp poll. So 1010 on the top right will always sell scrolls. Now, she sells from green to blue only in denominations of three and five, and she sells rares and SRs only. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually buy hers once. Refresh. There you go. Buy it twice. I'm just going to quickly check if I bought my frogs. I did. Good. And then, so 1010 will give you, uh, sh this shop is available six times a day. Refreshes twice per reset. So you can buy it up to 12 times. So always, guys, spend your Rio here on buying her scrolls. Um, and then lastly, the Orichimaru Lab. Now, this section here um, is you can pop Orichimaru's Lab by doing any missions, elite or regular. And he can pop between an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. I know some people say two, but I've done it earlier. So I know it is earlier than that. It is RNG though, guys. So keep that in mind. Now, on the bottom left and the bottom middle, he sells the two scrolls. If you're F2P, you only want to buy the one with Rio, right? So he sells either, he only sells purple. So he can sell SR or UR. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the SR one. And it's always 100,000. The UR is 200,000 Rio, okay? But as a whale, guys, if you have the, the, the income and the Shino coins, you always want to invest into this one if you're trying to get your speed up to elite level, right? So I'm going to go ahead and buy the 300. Now, FTP, you're going to cringe. You're like, I can't believe you just spent 300 on these coins when you can spend Rio. But as a whale, Rio is probably more of a, a, as a harder commodity to come by than, than Shino coins, right? So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. I apologize, guys. Don't cringe here. So what you want to do is you want to refresh. And there's another SR and another SR. Now, URs, guys, cost, again, 200,000 Rio for the, um, the scrolls for the F2P and whales. But for the Shino coins, three of them cost 600. So it's double the SR amount. Now, as URs are extremely hard to, to get to plus levels. That's why I buy them. Um, I think my highest UR right now is plus four and my lowest is plus two. So I am trying to work on getting their speed up because my, most of my team is going to be comprised of UR. So it's important to make sure you get them up. But that's also another reason why it's important to, to do group distribution for scrolls, right? So that's the other way of getting scrolls, guys. You want to pop a rich tomorrow every hour and a half, every hour 45. Now, the last one, I'm just going to show you this. It's only for whales. Again, if you're FTP, you're not going to be interested in this part of it. But if you go to the special shop, right? And you go down to the bottom. Every Monday, this pack is available right here. So you can buy for $6.99 Canadian, you can buy yourself five blue R's, five blue SR's, and five blue UR's. So this is only available once a week. So as a whale, this is something you do want to take advantage of, at least for the UR aspect of it, right? So we're going to go back, guys. So that's those are the different ways to get yourself scrolls. Now, another way that you can, and this is only based on your alliance, of course, is if you do raids. Now, a raid will actually give you uh, two, one to two rare scores from level one to ten. From ten onwards, you get SR scrolls up to level 20, right? So you can collect SR scrolls and rare scrolls from this, and it goes from one to two based, I believe, on your damage, or maybe it's just RNG. But this is the other way to collect um, some scrolls. And then lastly, this is also, again, based on your performance in NWT. You're going to get these silver or gold chests based on your victory or participation. If you open it up, you have a chance to collect SR scrolls or any type of speed scroll, as a matter of fact. Let's open up. All right, so there you go. So I got two SR speed scrolls, two regular R speed scrolls, and I've got some tournament coins, etc. right? So that's, that's exactly how you guys will collect those. So those are the different ways, guys, to collect speed scrolls. So take advantage of it on a daily. Like, make sure you go to these shops and you get these scrolls. And then what you want to do, again, is you want to distribute them, and I keep saying this over and over, to those different shinobis. So let's go back to Hanata. Let's hopefully I can get her up, and I'll show you guys how the group promotion works. So let's focus on that plus 720 down here, okay? So I think I have enough to get her up. Let's see. Boom, level 40. Now, you see how I went back to level 1? And then my speed went to plus three, and now my 720 became 735. If you level that up, there you go. Promotion bonus, speed plus three, team bonus plus 15. So now everybody in my roster got plus 15. So that 720 
went up to 735, right? So that's how it works, guys. You want to put your SR scrolls, your R scrolls, your UR scrolls amongst all of your shinobis till you at least hit plus two or plus three, and then you want to focus on your main nine. So guys, I really hope this helped you guys out. Um, most of my shinobi are running roughly about uh, 3,000 plus speed uh, per team. Uh, if you want to check your total actual um, speed, you can go to the ranking list on the top where the trophy is, go to Shinobi's Unlocked, and you can actually see where your speed's at. As you can see, I'm number one right now at three th uh, 35,000. Hito is number two, and we've got a few others, guys, that are so close. Now, the way for PvP, at least on these servers, works, if you're anything from zero to, like, I don't know, 10,000, you're not even going to hit top 100. You might you actually might get top 100, maybe. From If you're anything from 10,000 to about... 15,000, you're probably hitting about top 50. Anything from 15 to 20, you're probably about top 20. And then 20 upwards to the 35, 40,000, you're hitting your top top 20 to top one, right? So um, that's how that works, guys. So if you want to check out speed, check this section out. Also a great way if you're doing PvP, if you're fighting an opponent and you want to know their speed, go to this section, try to find them, and you can see how you compare with speed to them. All right, guys? I really hope this video helped out. Um, Again, if you guys have any further questions, if there's anything you need to for me to slow down on or just to kind of go into more detail, feel free to reach out to me through the comment section, guys. Please like, please subscribe, please share. I hope this helps out. I think this might help all levels of players. Um, and if, if there's something even further and you don't want to send a comment, please hit me up on my Discord. It is in my profile, so you can find me there. Or just shoot me a, a comment and I'll send you my Discord information. All right, guys, it's been, uh, it's been a wonderful uh, video and I've had a great time making this for you guys. Enjoy. Remember, please keep in mind, I will be putting the showcase for uh, Adult Sasuke up today as well, too. So stay tuned for that. And if you do like the character, I've got a plus five again. And uh, you guys will love what he has to, uh, to offer. So again, guys, this is Painblade. Have a wonderful day, and we'll talk soon.